Mrs. Brown started the next class on SEO terminologies by stating that we've already covered some of them in the previous lesson. So, we will go through the other terminologies in this class. Now, do you know what CCTLD is? It stands for Country Code Top Level Domain. It represents a country specific domain name. For example, Amazon.in. Here, Amazon has a website targeting the Indian population only. Similarly, they have a domain name of Amazon.com for USA based users only. Let me explain you what clickbait means. Clickbait is about making sensational headlines that are misleading in nature and influencing more users to click. This practice is performed by advertisers to earn more money. Then we have black hat, SEO tactics, SEO tactic that are spammy in nature and can lead to Google's penalty. They have been designed to manipulate search engine ranking in the wrong way. Keyword stuffing and link farming are prime examples. Now, let us see the definition of white hat SEO. Search engine optimization approaches that are user focused and consistent with search engine best practices with the purpose of boosting a traffic's organic exposure. Also referred to as ethical SEO. Do you know what CMS is? CMS stands for Content Management System. It can be defined as an online platform through which you can manage website content. For example, WordPress is one of the content management systems. Let us discuss about the featured snippet. When you optimize your web content with the help of structured data, your website can appear above the first position based on the search queries. As it appeared on the top of the page, it can be called position zero. Do you know what a knowledge card is? A knowledge card is a short and definitive answer to your search query and appears at the top of the search results. It can take multiple forms. Also, the results were pulled by the leveraging Google's knowledge graph, data partners, and Wikipedia. Let us talk about the knowledge graph. Knowledge graph can be seen on the right side of search engine results page as an answer to branded search query. It is helpful in branding the company. Within the graph, you can see company descriptions, website links, and social media profile links. What exactly are site links? After searching for a query, you can see small headlines with links to different pages of the same website that appear right below the main result. These small links are called site links. Let us discuss about internal links. Links internally connect different web pages of the same website. Placing internal links is a must and can be considered to be one of the best SEO practices. Lastly, we will talk about the external links. Links that connect with other website pages can be termed as external links. Getting external links means higher credibility and it displays the higher authority of the website. Again, these terms do not cover everything that SEO encompasses, but they do offer a fast overview. Mrs. Brown then concluded this lesson by stating that with these terminologies in your back pocket, you should be able to comprehend some of the complexities involved in SEO results and analysis. She then briefed about the lesson for the next class, that is website traffic.